share with you today the difference between our original scanner, which was called a C3000, and the later version of that scanner that we should have labeled a C4, we didn't until later. The way to know the difference between them is looking at the serial connector. It's a five digit serial number. If it starts with a three, you have a C3000. The C3000 does not have a computer chip in it and it was limited to communications with by through its serial port to Windows 98. After Windows 98, when XP came out and the following versions of Windows, adapters were needed to translate the information from the dumb scanner, if you will, to a smart serial port or to USB. We developed several different versions of a dumb serial to smart serial converter that we call the RS232. If you have one of those, uh, you'll recognize it by this cord. The later version of that, we eliminated the cords and put the serial connectors directly in the case that has the computer chip in it that has the ability to convert a dumb serial port to a smart serial port. When USB ports came out, you were then able to come out from the uh, smart serial port and connect to a USB to serial converter smart serial and that allowed you to then take one of these and plug in there we go so we were able to go from a old C3000 scanner with a dumb serial port and come out with a USB connection to your computer through this combination. We also built, at the more recently, what we call the USB 3000, which is takes the uh, dumb serial port and goes directly to USB and even has a power jack that will provide 9 volts from the computer's USB port to the scanner. You would use a mono plug, not a stereo plug that could damage the device, a mono plug from here into the power cord for the, US, for the C3000. And that would allow you then to run directly from your laptop at a screening and not only work the scanner, but also power the scanner. And this device is workable even up to Windows 8. Now let's move to the C4000. Again, we refer to it as a C3000, but the serial number, five digits, starts with a four. If you have one of these, you have a smart scanner. There's a computer in the scanner head that allows us to come out with just a two-wire connection, which is referred to, I'll call it just a smart serial connection, which can then go directly to a USB port using just a USB to serial converter. The earlier converters that we included with the scanners were manufactured by a company called Baffo. They look like this. So if you call in for support and need a driver, tell them this is what you have, a Baffo. The Baffo converters uh, weren't updated, I don't believe even yet, to handle Windows uh, 8. So we've purchased a newer USB to serial converter that is capable of running on Windows 8. So if you're having an issue moving up to Windows 8, call us and we'll get you one of these. The C4000, of course, still required 9 volts for power. And we include the wall transformer and some of you may have battery adapters for a 9 volt battery that would also plug into this port. If you're going to use anything else or to go to Radio Shack to get a power wall transformer, please call us so we can email you the right specifications that you'll need. So we've always wanted to make sure that any scanner we built is upward compatible to the very latest versions of software that Windows and Microsoft might throw at us. Thank you.